Can't get you out of my mind, no Said I think about you all at a time, yeah Been imagining you all in my bed, whoa. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Lethal Lev, and I'm back with another 2K21 video So this is gonna be my best jump shot recommendations And let's get right into it I'm not gonna make you guys watch a whole 10 minute video Just to give you the jump shot at the end all that I ask that you please stick around because I'm going to give you some more shooting tips and the best badges as well. So here is going to be my jump shot. Now, firstly, I am a lefty, so I actually prefer shooting left-handed as opposed to right-handed. I don't really know why. It's just the gathers. For when you take your shot, the release speed, I'm used to going right a lot and it being a quicker shot. So that's why I like going as a lefty. So... The, the base, I'm going to go with Stephen Curry. So not a lot of people have been using Curry except for quick game. The release one, I'm going to go with Kobe Bryant. So that's a really sleeper jump shot. Not a lot of people I've seen use Kobe Bryant as their release one or their base. But I really like it. I've been testing it out. Release two, LaMarcus Aldridge, a fan favorite. A lot of you guys have used Aldridge in the past. I think it's a really good release. I, I'm, it's probably my, one of my best green windows using this LaMarcus Aldridge. And the blend, I either go 70-30 or 50-50. It doesn't really matter. I'm not really noticing too much of a difference. Release speed, since they took Quick Draw out of the game, the release speed is really important this year. 2K Labs has been doing some testing. They said that your green window actually goes down the higher your release speed. So it might not be the best for you to put it all the way up. It might be, you know, three quarters of the way might be the move. Even though you're sacrificing a little bit of speed to get the jump shot off, you're going to be able to green more consistently. So I recommend having it, you know, three quarters of the way as opposed to all the way. But then again, it's all personal preference. Whatever works for you is what you should run. So that's the jump shot. Very good no matter what build you're on. You know, I'm using this play making shot creator. So obviously I have a high three ball, but no matter what build you're on, as long as you have the hot spots, you're gonna be able to shoot fairly consistently if you, you know, learn your jump shot. So these are the badges that I'm rocking with. All these are Hall of Fame except two. I got two badges to go. I've been shooting like crazy. Um, hot Zone Hunter is the most important badge in the game. You need your hot spots. But volume shooter is also very underrated. I recommend using volume shooter if you're going to be playing rec as the primary ball handler or pro-am on your team. And you're going to be shooting a lot of shots. Now, if you're going to be playing more park, I recommend green machine. Just because it's going to activate quicker or hot start or one of those other badges. Because rec is a full game and obviously park is condensed. And once you end the game, you have to start all over to the next game. And volume shooter isn't as effective in park. Now, for twos, I would get rid of all that, and I would put on Corner Specialist. Now, a lot of people have a misconception about Corner Specialist. They think it's only standstill shots in the corner. Actually, you can shoot fades, and, and you go crazy on the twos. If you're a twos player, Corner Specialist is actually a must, because you're going to be taking the screen, and you're going to be fading to the corner. It's actually a major problem in the game right now, is that everybody's shooting fades, and they're making whites on the twos. So I don't know if Mike Wang is going to address that or any of the shooting. It's actually become a little bit too easy to shoot mid ranges as opposed to, you know, everyone was complaining about the shooting early on. So the one you're going to want to check your hot spots. I give I go over the easiest way to get hot spots in my last video. Link in the description to check it out. But you're going to want to go to the shoot around in your my court to test and see not only practice your jump shot, but to make sure that you have all your hot spots. Your hot spots in my career carry over towards the park and rec this year. Hopefully they don't change that. I like that about this game. And this is taking forever to load up. So I'll be right back when it finally decides to load up. Okay, so it finally decided to load up. The servers has been struggling a little bit, but 
you're gonna want to go around the my court make sure there's a red those red dots around your player that way you can see you got the hot spots of course I got all my hot spots right here and just make sure that you have them it doesn't really matter if about the mid range because you're gonna make those shots anyways but it's always a good thing to have also Mike Wang has said that when tapping LT when you shoot you get a boost to your jump shot so when you shoot you're gonna want to tap LT as you release the jump shot what the hell my camera's all messed up so as you go to shoot tap that LT button green as soon as you shoot as soon as you release and you do get a boost now I recommend shooting without the meter if you're just going for threes and stuff but if you're shooting mid-range fades I recommend shooting with the meter so thank you guys for watching I appreciate all you guys you know taking the time to watch my 2k videos most of you guys aren't subscribed so I would appreciate it if you could subscribe hit the notification bell and I'm out y'all peace